What's up guys? My name is Kamil. Today I'm going to show you how to change the thermostat in your car. And I'm going to, going to show you this on my E46 and this is where the thermostat is located. So first thing you have to do is drain your coolant. In BMW it's pretty easy. Uh, it has like a drain plug on the radiator. It's just a matter of unbolting. I also take off the filler cap. In other cars, like for example my Golf, there's no drain plug on the radiator, so what you would do is take the lowest holes on the radiator off. It's gonna be a lot more messy, but I think we won't avoid making a mess in this case. Now that the uh, fluid is drained, let's put the drain plug back in so I won't be spilling the coolant everywhere when I take the drain pan out of there and move it on the thermostat side. The reason why you want to replace the thermostat when it's not working correctly is that when it's closed all the way it's gonna make your engine run hot and eventually overheat which is very bad and you don't want that because this can cause you a lot of expenses rebuilding your engine. And the other one is it's stuck open and that way your engine never runs hot enough and that can cause more fuel consumption and it's also bad for your engine health as your engine needs its operating temperature to run correctly and run good. Right now uh, I have to undo one, well take one clip off the hose. This is the clip that holds the hose on the thermostat and slide it off so I can take the thermostat off the thermostat housing and there are three bolts one is here oh, you can see the second one and the third one is right there the thermostat is attached to the housing with a um, E8 Torx there are three bolts so let's undo them And it's out, so let's compare the parts and put the new one in. So it turns out both are made by the same company and the first one is original, which means that what I bought is BMW part. That's good. This came out of the radiator. A lot of dirt. I bolted the new thermostat to the housing. It's time to attach the hose. And to tell you why this was so important for this car, this is where the coolant temperature sensor is located, which did not get the hot water and could not read the proper temperature and turn on the fan. What's left to do is to fill the coolant system with a, a coolant and bleed it. Since I forgot the car keys, I am unable to properly bleed the car, but what you would do is unbolt this two bleed, um, bleeding screws, fill the reservoir with as much fluid as you can and wait until the water comes out of them then you would basically screw them in and of course you do this with a cold system this is going to be it for today's episode i hope you liked it i hope it was helpful give the video a thumbs up subscribe comment below and share it with your friends if you want to of course i'll see you in the next episode